Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Workshop, featuring Invisible Ink. In the previous episode, we got some awesome equipment for our characters, but now we're gonna need money in order to make them good enough to actually use that equipment. So let's go to the mission select screen and see what Gladstone and Monster have to say for us. We need to keep moving. If the corpse get a fix on our location, we won't last long in a direct fight. Keep up the hit and run, and we might just get through this. Thanks for the tips, Central. Kano server farms are essentially more gold for us. The executive suite gives us access to an executive dude. Looks like someone is trying to impress his boss by working through the night. Well, I can appreciate his work ethic. I'd appreciate his access codes even more. Let's schedule a meeting. So this allows us to get a vault access card for use in other facilities. Specifically facilities such as... The corporations have trillions in credits and assets, and they're too paranoid to trust it all to the banking system. The location of these vaults is a highly guarded secret, but money has a way of talking. Just be sure to bring a pass key, or you'll miss out on the best loot. So this is a very, very good example of a two-part mission that we can do. And here's another small optimization. If we go here, that's 8 hours. If we go here, that's 11 hours. That's a total of 17 hours. We'll still have 9 hours left. So that's really good. Sorry, that's a total of 19 hours. So we'll have 7 hours left. And that 7 hours is actually okay. So for example, going here takes 13 hours. That 7 hours will be enough for that last mission, if I remember correctly. Which means that we should probably do this into this. And that should be good enough. Looks like someone is trying to impress. So we've been to Plastec before. They're the company that has a bunch of upgraded guards. Do not disappoint. You know, in yeah, let's go. Incognita can be a, can be a bit of a condescending jerk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so let's start off this mission by going here and peeking. So it seems like this entire part's now a dead end and we no longer have to go there. We found it immediately. So this is usually the executive room, which means that the executive dude should be here. Let's open and let's peek. The executive has been located. Disable him and get his cerebral implant ready for the interrogation. Okay, so here's the thing. One strategy for these executive missions is to actually not try to get the executive's codes just yet. And it's more of to try and scout the area first in order to um, find the exit. Because the moment you start hacking into this dude's brain, the entire level will go haywire. It'll up the alarm, it'll send new guards, it'll be crazy. So. I highly, highly recommend for us to not do that just yet. Let's optimize our movement here by starting with International. Some hackable mainframes. We can't hack this guy. We have to knock him out, then hack him. So That doesn't give us enough AP to peek into the room, but that's fine. There's something we can hack. Facility database. This is one of my favorite mainframe devices because it tells us the map. I'll show you. It'll be amazing. Huzzah! We found the entire map. And the entire map is on this side. Oh, goodness me. So it seems like we have to do the other... We can't do my strategy of scouting the map first, then knocking the guard out. And instead, we're going to have to knock the guard out and then essentially scout ahead while the guards wait, uh, while we're essentially waiting for this guy's vault access codes to be given to us. So we'll end the turn now. Okay, so now we know that there's a guard that's patrolling in and out of this room, meaning that his line of sight is somewhere here. So if we knock this guard out, sorry, if we knock the executive out, we need to drag him all the way near this hooded cloak statue. Why is there like a random hooded cloak statue? Okay, anyway, international, let's pick peek here. It's a useless room. 
Huzzah. So everyone's gonna have to wait for this guard to come out because we don't want to alert guards. So we're gonna quote unquote waste a turn here and end turn right now. So we're gonna have to go here. Sorry. All right, go here. We'll be undetected. Well, we can steal from them. We can give that to Decker as he passes by. But we're gonna have to KO use first. We're digging into his cerebral implant now, but it'll take a few minutes. Stay close to the target so I can keep the scan running. So we can actually just drag the dude throughout the level if you guys want to see that. It's hilarious. Actually, I think I might just do that. Decker actually has the skeletal suspension, allowing him to drag people that much further. So we can probably just keep dragging this dude until the end of the level. Yeah, I think that's a smart play. So let's hide everyone first. Oh, there's a nanofab. Okay, wait. So let's give you the key card. And we can... Oh, there's a daemon. But let's take it. So it installed a bunch of daemons onto machines I haven't seen yet. So that's not that big of an issue. So this indicates the number of turns we have to wait. But it just says stay near the exec. So we can just drag him throughout the level. It's going to be fine. Plant is transmitting. Begin deepening the scan. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna cheat again and just rewind. Let's do this all over again, shall we? So Banks is not gonna be the one knocking him out. It's gonna be Decker this time. But we can pickpocket him with banks. That's a lot of money, which is why I wanted to go here as well, because there's a lot of money to be had. So we go here and knock him out. We should be safe. We're digging into his cerebral implant now, but it'll take a few minutes. Stay close to the target so I can keep the scan running. So, if I remember correctly, over here should be a safe spot. Okay, I think this is a better turn for us. Uh, again, rewinds are a tool that they give you in this difficulty of the game. So, even though I feel like it's cheating, I know it's not. So, I'm going to use it. And we'll end the turn. Hopefully, it doesn't end up as bad as it was earlier. Excellent. Cerebral implant is transmitting. Begin deepening the scan. So we can drag this dude along. Nope, we're gonna get seen if we go by that path. So usually you just want to click here, but the path thing is gonna be horrible. So I suggest you just path it yourself. Let's see what this room has in store for us. Ooh. So that's a guard. That's absolutely a guard. Because if it were a camera, International uh, would have seen it. And because it says it, it has these fading out. So the fading out parts usually mean that it's a guard. So that's troublesome for me. And we can't alert him right now because here's the thing. If he opens the door, he'll see Banks and he'll stop. He won't go through. So we can't ambush him right now. So might as well just hack this nanofab for now and end the turn. Hopefully this guard's patrolling.
Yep, it's exactly as I predicted. He's had me mimic defense training. This is going to be trickier than expected. Mimetic. <laughs> Memes. Anyway. I can't hack the nanofab? Why? Oh, there's a wall? Are you serious? Okay, fine. So this should be hidden from that guy who comes into this room next turn. So let's see what the nanofab has for us. Armor piercing too. Oh, armor piercing is so good. Huh, but I don't think we can afford to spend the credits. Yeah, we already have multiple ways to knock out guards, so it's it's gonna be fine. And that guy, if I remember, his line of sight was. Oh, how was his line of sight? His line of sight was like this, just just noticed. You know what? Let's go here. I'm sure he can't see that. Okay, uh, and then Decker can move the guy over here, I guess. So this is the thing I was telling you guys about. The level starts going crazy because this guy that we're basically messing with um, found out, uh, was able to get the signal out and ask for help. So that's his pathing. Okay. Uh, we, we figured out his pathing. So he just goes into this room. All right. So we quote unquote waste the turn. Cognita is in. We've broken him down now. Almost there, operator. So we can go into this room, which will be very useful. And I don't think he'll see us if we go here, so. Let's run. Oh, this goes against my very principle of not keeping your du dudes in the same line of sight. But I'll take the risk. We can hack this drone and scout out this area. That's the exit elevator. Might as well hack this. Oh, uh, that's gonna be bad news bears, but okay, so we now have like six guards in the level It's a good thing we keep Decker here because Decker is not only the one who can drag people He's the one with the invisible rig, so Hopefully we can get everyone out before things go haywire So that's why the line of sight was crazy. Okay, there's two guards Is starting to come in now just a little longer so i want to point out this situation that happened this is a kind of randomly generated level and it was able to spawn this interesting combat scenario so uh, that's what i really love about this game so i know that your pathing is you head over there so if we head over here, we should be safe. Okay, so we go Banks first because she goes further. Then International. Then we can close the door. Banks can unlock the door like the awesomeness that she is. And someone should ambush. And Decker, you just stay there, and you'll be able to get out next turn. So next turn, we should be done with this dude, and we'll run into this spot. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, we got out. Got the 
Vault pass codes. I've ejected a mem chip from his port. Grab it and get the hell out of there. Okay, so this dude, this dude is running into this room straight. So he'll be knocked out for quite a few turns. He can ambush. Okay, so if you guys realize, I couldn't ambush this guy. I couldn't ambush while standing on this guy. Because you can't stockpile bodies on top of one another. Except with a few interesting exploits here and there. But I'll go over that when it becomes relevant. So this guy will go here and he will get seen. So we have to move. So that guy is looking the other way. Wow, he actually goes really far. There's a safe. We can hack that. I don't want to hack the one with the daemon because it's scary. You can go here. You can go here. Close that door. And this should be good. Actually, you can just go there instead. Never mind. So there's the guard. The camera's over here. Oh, that's... Oh, man. Okay. This drone is down. Hmm. Why is we imagining things? <laughs> Intruder! Are you serious? Investigating. What was that? Investigating. What was that? Investigating. Hey. Alarm Investigating. Firewalls increased. Secure additional. So now every guard and their mothers want to kill banks. Agent track. This guy is going to be a problem. So Decker has to head out. So this is the interesting part of this game. Is that getting into these scenarios and trying to figure out a way to not get screwed. <laughs> effectively. So we knock you out. Where are you going? By going here, we'll be relatively safe. Now we can just knock him out. That guy will see the dead body of his friend. Well, knocked out body of his friend. He can steal some credits. Double hack this corporate safe. Figure out why. Okay, that's why. We should have double hacked that. Poor optimization on my part, but that's okay. That means the international is going to get seen, so we have to run over here. Still have a two turn cooldown on this thing. Banks doesn't have her attack.
Okay, we should disable the drone. So this is just a bunch of safes. There's nothing else there. So we should just run everyone up there. So here's one interesting trick, is that you can have this drone sit on this guy, so that that guy doesn't wake up. We need to get Banks out of there. So that's not watched. So we can go here. Close the door and we'll start making our way out. Just get in the area. Where are you going? So if this is watched, So now we get to see this awesome Vault Disruptor in play. And you'll see that it has no cooldown. So I'll use International. Uh, <laughs> I'll use International to knock out like this guard and the next guard. And Decker can come in as assistance. And that's okay. Does this guy do nothing except just check? This guy's- so we pick this guy up And we walk over here To effectively disable two people at the same time And again, let's end the turn Intruder Banks can easily come in. Okay, oh, this jerk. We can drop you. We can go here. We can KO you again. So now there's just a bunch of sleeping guards here. We enter this room, we're relatively safe. And we're home free. <clears throat> How many guards are on this level? Infinity. Infinity. So I think everyone's now kind of awake. But that's okay, because we're out of here. Exit level, return to the jet. Good work, operator. We can rekey that card to give us access to any corporate lockbox. That was a really good mission. Uh, we didn't get all the safes. Actually, we didn't get a lot of the safes, but we got what we came for, which is the vault access card, and we did get a lot of credit from stealing from people. 
And that pretty much does it for this episode of The Workshop. If you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, do put them in the comment section down below, and I will be sure to answer. Without much else to say, thanks for watching, and good night.